What brought on the need to see that camels might be a good animal to adopt and adapt here within the Zambudu community is that even families with a lot of livestock during the drought periods and the dry seasons, the cattle, the goats, they were very, very far away. When there were no animals, there was rampant hunger, there was malnutrition, a lot of dependence on relief food was happening. We have seen even in Zaburu, there is high gum rates as, uh, of malnutrition. And the only solution is to diversify our, 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 our pastoral lives. They can be able to eat, feed on tall trees, uh, that is acacia. So it's an advantage that during time of droughts because the camel is, can still be within with the people and can still produce the normal milk it was producing when it was raining. We train women. We train a lot of women that that bear the area of the future. And actually, it's all about working with women. Women have really got excited in working with us. Sasa tunakamua masiwa yetu, tunaenda kuweka mashini, tunatoa mafuta ya masiwa, tunausa masiwa kani masiwa lala, tunatengeneza permende ya masiwa ya chisi ya kamea. The family would sign a contract that this camel is the woman's camel. And that also made a huge difference within how they could use it, where they went, who they gave it to, how much they used for sale, and then what, how they could use that money. She bought me the, the school uniform from the, the milk from the camel, and that's when I joined the school because of the help of the camel. I did electrical engineering, so up to where I am, it's the effort of that camel. And now that it's decided that next year will be the year of the camels, it's a good thing. We really appreciate because for the people that have camel, their life has really changed. People can be able to survive and be able to have reliable food because of the camels. Because camels give a lot of milk in these arid areas. <laughs> 